Bro, have you seen this documentary about female circumcision? It's fucking horrible. Nah, bro, there's way worse shit going on in the world, man. Buzzfeed told me all about it. Really? Like what? Man spreading. What's that? Oh, bro, it's fucking awful. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? Nah, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, it can't be that bad. Nah, fuck off, man. I don't want to talk about it. It's too problematic. Pete, bro, you know you can tell me anything, right? Anything? Yeah, bro, anything. <sighs> okay, well, yeah. I took 50 bucks from your wallet last night and I spent it all on pingers. Ah, uh, you're a cunt, mate. Oh, you said I could tell you anything, man. You fucking lied to me. I didn't know you were fucking stealing from me. Just tell me what manspreading is. Oh, bro, it's the fucking worst. You don't even want to know, man. It's real bad, okay? So, manspreading is when a man sits on a train with his legs a little bit apart. Is that it? Yeah, you know what, man? When you, when you say it in real life, and you're not reading it on a BuzzFeed article, it doesn't actually, um, really doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, I mean, seems like a really trivial thing to care about. Sat down, I spread my legs out, which kind of pushed his... G'day cunts, welcome to Lou Review. Today, we're looking at BuzzFeed's undercover investigation on manspreading. Now, a lot of people shit on BuzzFeed. They say that BuzzFeed isn't real news. But you know what? I like BuzzFeed. Because giving people with special needs the opportunity to work in journalism and write stories about whatever they like is very important. And I have to commend BuzzFeed on exclusively hiring people with intellectual disabilities to write articles about whatever they like. Because it's very important to give those people a platform and a voice. My balls. I don't want my balls sticking to my legs. For this video, BuzzFeed hires three female actors to manspread on public transport and record a video diary about it. And you thought your job at McDonald's was embarrassing. This week of manspreading is definitely going to make me feel anxious as much as a super strong feminist I want to say it won't. The people around you are relegated to a very small portion, but the key to manspreading is not noticing. I kind of secretly hope to annoy some men. So lesbian Johnny Depp, a less slutty version of Zoe Berger, and the Predator all walk onto a train. Sounds like the start of a fucking horrible joke. That's my first train trip as a manspreader. I just feel like a monster already. How can you do this every day without being conscious of it? What is it between their legs that's so important that it requires two to three seats when there are kids, families, women, and elderly people standing up? All right, so obviously this video is to prove that manspreading is a huge issue that happens all the time, but I don't think they managed to do it. I mean, let's have a look at some of the examples of manspreading that BuzzFeed put in their own video to prove that it happens all the time. Here's the first shit example. This guy is sitting with his legs apart because he has to. If he put his legs together, he wouldn't fit in the back seat. Also, there is no one sitting in the middle seat, so no one is being affected. This guy isn't in anyone's personal space. He's sitting normally. His legs aren't that far apart. In fact, he's taking up the same amount of space, if not less than the woman next to him who decided to put her big fucking bag on the seat instead of under it. These two guys aren't taking up anybody's personal space. Nobody needs the space where their legs are. The bus is not busy. In fact, if both of these two guys have a person sitting next to them, by moving their legs into the aisle, they're providing the person next to them with more space. So unless they decide not to move when people need to get off the bus, those two guys are actually very fucking polite. To be forced to manspread really showed me how up your own ass you have to be as a person to not be conscious of those around you. To the man that's taking up too much space on a bus, on the plane, on the bench, 
we see you. You don't need that much room. In total, BuzzFeed showed about 15 examples of man spreading, and out of those, only about two guys were actually taking up other people's personal space. And considering BuzzFeed sent out three women for an entire week specifically to find people manspreading, it seems like maybe it's not as big a problem as they're making it out to be. Gee, bias reporting from BuzzFeed? What a fucking shock. In response to this terrible experiment, what I've decided to do is my own experiment. What I've done is I worked for BuzzFeed for an entire week and I recorded a video diary talking about what it's like to work there every single day. Here's a look at my experiment. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so it's day one and I'm about to tell my roommate that I got the job at BuzzFeed. Man, I just got off the phone. I yeah. got my first ever job. Journalism job. No way, that's awesome. So it was a, where was it? Like New York Times or National Geographic? No, no, no. Or... I'm working at BuzzFeed. Oh, it's 15 reasons less to your film. No, Marvin! No! This is crazy! Look guys, I take public transport all the time. I fly around the country in planes for my stand-up comedy tours and I just don't think this fucking man-spreading thing is as big of an issue that BuzzFeed makes it out to be. I mean, think about it. The bigger they make the issue, the more money they make because they can write more fucking articles and more bullshit videos about this. I don't think this is a male exclusive problem. I have seen every type of person take up too much space on public transport. I've seen men do it with their legs. I've seen women do it with their bags. I've seen fatties do it with their obesity. I just don't think that BuzzFeed is right when they say that men spread their legs to oppress women. I think whenever a woman takes up space, she's considered bossy, she's considered aggressive. Women are expected to be quiet, small, and almost invisible. Whereas men can be these boisterous slobs, and it's all good. The further I looked into the fight against manspreading, the more I realized that it's not really about personal space. If it was, they would be calling out all the other people about it. it, it it's more about shaming men for how they naturally sit with your legs a little bit apart. Like, I found a crazy amount of articles written by women who don't know what it's like to own a cock and balls saying that when men sit with their legs apart, it's so they can assert their dominance on the room and enforce the patriarchy in that way. And that could be a good conspiracy theory, but men sit like that when we're home alone. How the fuck can you assert your dominance on a room with no one in it? Like, what do you think happens when a man opens his legs? You are a fucking white male The fuck was that? I think the patriarchy lives between my legs. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? This person just sexually harassed me! Now BuzzFeed, allow me to mansplain why men manspread. What a fucking huge, confusing sentence of made up terms. Fuck, we don't do it to enforce the patriarchy. This is how I would sit on a train or alone. If someone really needed more space, I would go like that, because I'm not a cunt, all right? But the reason why men sit like this is because if you sit like this, it hurts your cock. That's the only reason. But don't worry, BuzzFeed. I come with a solution, okay? I'm not just here to trash man spreading. I'm here to fix it. Men can sit comfortably with their legs together. But, the only way we can do that comfortably is before we close our legs, what we need to do is reach down into our pants, pass the underwear, grab old mate and his two round friends, pull up, put your legs close together, and then place the crown jewels gently on top of the legs. That's the only way that we can sit like this without crushing our nuts the entire train ride. So. The solution I have is very simple. Either we stop complaining about some slight manspreading, or we make it socially acceptable for men to reach down their pants and readjust their ball sack on the train. The choice is yours.
What I'm saying is being inconsiderate on public transport isn't something that only sexist men do to oppress women. It's something that cunts do to be selfish. And it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. If you're gay or straight, male or female, everyone can be a cunt. And that's what equality is all about. Thanks for watching guys. I do a new Lou review every single week, so subscribe for the next one and I'll catch you later. Cut. We are on some shit and I don't know we fucking move right now. I'm looking for another ride. I know I'm lost in music. Yeah, I did this happen. Wasn't meant to make it, but I fucking